Hi, I'm Alan Birchall and welcome to my screencast. Uh, this screencast is going to show you how to use group policy preferences to deploy shortcuts to users' desktops. First of all, just a quick set, uh, run through the environment. We've got our domain here, contoso.local, an organizational unit there called people and a username there called Alan. We're going to be applying the shortcut to this user. I'll just jump over to the group policy management console now. Here we have that same OU, and we've got a group policy object selected there that we're going to apply to that OU. This is the one that's going to have the shortcut preference in it. Now you notice here, underneath user configuration, we have both the policy and preferences options. You'll only ever see the preferences options if you are running Windows Vista or Windows Server 2008 or later. I would recommend Windows 7 or 2008 R2 because the Group Policy Management Console is more up to date in those versions. You cannot edit Group Policy Preferences on a Windows XP machine, but you can apply them to a Windows XP machine. So just if you can't find that setting, that's probably why. All right, we're going to go into Windows Settings, go to Shortcuts. We're going to create a new shortcut. And here's the short new shortcut property dialog box. So the target type, we can do it to a program, a URL, or even a shell object. So we're going to do a URL. So this is going to be like a the user has a favorite website that they drag to their desktop, just like one of those shortcuts. Now we're going to put in desktop here. There's also, you notice there, another option called all users desktop. That puts it in the all users profile, but we don't want it there. We want to put it in the desktop profile, so that puts it in the specific users desktop profile. That also means it would be part of the users roaming profile. So we're going to put in a URL here. And we're going to call it the Group Policy Center. I'm also going to go to this common tab here for some additional settings. And I'm going to tick this option here, apply once and do not reapply. You'll see why in a minute. All right. Notice here we now have that setting listed and supplied. And that's now going to be applied to that user. So let's jump across to the workstation and see what effect that has had. Okay, we've swapped over to the workstation now that we applied this policy to. As you can see, I'm logged on as user Alan. Just going to open a command prompt here, and I'm going to do a GP update. So this is going to refresh the group policy on this machine. See, it's updating policy there. If you have a look over here, there it is. Voila, shortcut appeared. Very quick. So that's a great way to deploy shortcuts to all the users in your organization. And because group policy will actually refresh in the background, that will take no longer than normally two hours for that, that new um, setting to be pushed out to all, all your users. That's uh, much better than having to wait for the user to reboot and run the logon script next. So the other option was the apply once and do not reapply option that I ticked before, if you remember. So what that means is uh, a user might see this uh, shortcut appear on their desktop, and it gives them the option to actually delete it. They can, al or they can always delete it. But the next time the group policy is refreshed, so you notice the shortcut won't come back because it already knows that that setting has been applied and it doesn't worry that the fact about the fact that the user has deleted the, the um, shortcut because it says, well, I've already set it once and that's the only time I'm going to set it. So, but what happens if you want to refresh that or push out a new version of that shortcut? Let's jump back and take a look. Okay, we're back here to the Group Policy Management Console. I'm going to look at the properties of the shortcut we made. You notice here we had that apply once and do not reapply. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually untick it, hit apply, tick it again, hit apply. That's now reset the flag to apply that setting for, for that particular setting. So this will now get pushed out again to the user only once because this option has been ticked. But it's a very good way to ensure that you want to, say, every month push out a new shortcut to those users' desktops. You don't really mind if they delete it in the interim because you know the users have probably had the favorite or saved somewhere else let's jump back see how that went. okay we're back and we got another GP update and remember we reset the flag and there we go it's back again all right so 
the grip policy shortcut has now appeared. If I was to delete that again and do another GP update, it wouldn't reappear because we still have that apply once and do not reapply option ticked. But one of the problems with doing this is you've now pushed this shortcut out to the user's desktop. What if the user changes sites or changes locations within the organization and that shortcut's no longer valid? Now, to clean that up would be a rather complicated process. You'd have to somehow determine whether or not the user still needs that. But luckily, the group policy preference has an option that helps you automatically clean up these sorts of settings. And we'll take a look at that now. All right, back to group policy management console again. We'll go back into the properties. Back onto the common tab. Now, we're going to tick this option here, remove this item when no longer applied. But before we do that, strange little quirk here, we have to reset this flag uh, like we did before, otherwise that setting, even in replace mode, won't apply. I'll now tick that, this will cause the, a change to the replace mode, or will cause it to change to replace mode. So we'll, we'll select that option, go into general, you notice here under actions it's now forced it to be a replace mode. The reason we use replace mode is because it doesn't allow the user or doesn't allow the um, policy to be overridden. It doesn't act like an update or create. Right? It will replace whatever settings there. The other reason is is that once the settings no longer applied, it will remove that setting, as we'll see in a sec. I'll hit OK there. And All right, we'll we're back. back. The Windows machine. We'll do another group policy update. But before we do that, I'm just going to delete this shortcut. shortcuts back as you can see. So this is now in replace mode. It doesn't have the apply once, do not reapply flag applied anymore. I'm going to delete it a second time. Run GP update again. As you can see it's now come back for the user. Now what happens though when the user is no longer subject to this group policy object? Well let's go find out. All right back at the group policy management console here. Now as you uh, know, this has the remove this item when no longer applied option ticked. So, I'm not going to uh, remove or move the user account. What I'm going to do is actually just disable this individual item. And you might go disable. I don't know of a disable option. There's no disable option there. You're right. You can't right click on a pre preference item and disable it. You have to actually go up to the menu here and click disable this item. Notice now that that has been greyed out, which means that that policy item is no longer applied to that u to the user. So now that's it disabled, let's go back to the Windows machine. And on this Windows machine here, we have the shortcut still on the desktop, but we haven't had a grip policy update yet. So I'm just going to do a grip policy update. We look and it's gone. The user is no longer subject to this policy and therefore because we tick that option, it will remove that setting. This is very important, very, very useful if you want to ensure you keep a clean SOE or clean managed environment. You don't want to start polluting the user's desktop with a lot of shortcuts and you don't want to start polluting your computer with a lot of registry keys. Using the replace option, not just for shortcuts but for any um, group policy preference item, can be very, very handy um, for a self-maintaining and a self-cleaning standard operating environment. Well, I hope that was useful. Um, again, my name's Alan Birchall. I'm the author of the Group Policy Center, and I'll see you around.